Hey, how you doing? This is Anthony Gray. Welcome to another episode of Gray Skill. Yeah, I'm standing up today. Listen, got something a little, a little different for you. I want to do a um, very unique kind of background, but I'm going to use this guy. Nothing but a little old cheap roller you can get at the hardware store. Comes with a sponge. The reason why the sponge looks like this is because I took a, a um, a, a one of those clips, you know, you know those um, little wraparound things that go against cables, go on cables and whatnot. Little little tie, look like a very long bread tie. Well, that's all I did, and I just wrapped it around the spool. Okay, which is going to give a very interesting pattern when I roll it onto the paper. Okay, I just taken a little bit of black, and I'll take the spool and just roll. It on to, to the um, very lightly just roll it on it's not going to cover everything but you don't want it to okay and it should give a very interesting little pattern all right and that's basically all I'm doing is roll, rolling it on there okay then you just take it now you try not to slide you just want to roll with it take it and just roll it just like that you see the patterns it gives? Okay. Very interesting. Interesting little patterns there. Maybe I'll roll it across a little bit. Just like so. You can get some more paint. Just roll it across. Nice even distribution if you can. And just roll it across interesting shapes and patterns I say try not to slide it across to get one of those numbers but you kind of get the idea all right but just like so very simple okay just like that very simple and you let it dry now you can reuse this and all you would have to do actually is just um clean it take the tie off because you know it slides off take the ties off and just wash it real good put it back on and you're good to go for the next set so I'll let this dry I'll more than likely be seated at the um, at the canvas and we'll do a little something with this I just want to make this a little more solid right around in here there we go and just rub it back across just like that I'll leave it be, let it dry. And we'll come back and we'll do a little something with that. All right. So, um, something I wanted to show you real quick, how you can achieve those crazy looking patterns and whatnot. Um, little designs for your background. Make it kind of interesting. All right. I shall be back and let's see what we can do. All with right, that. guys. Welcome back. Like I say, I'm still standing around. Maybe I'll do this one standing up today. But anyway, look at this. This is that long tie I was talking about. And I took it and I just wrapped it around that spool. As you see, it took really less than two minutes to clean this. Okay. The thing, it comes off. I just cleaned it, you know, run water on it, just squeeze it, and that's that. Okay. And that's all it takes. One of these, you just take it, wrap it around multiple times, and this is how you can get the pattern. You can get various patterns, you can crisscross it or whatnot. So it's a very interesting little little handy gadget that you can uh, use for this. So let me put these guys away here. I don't need those. All right. And now what I'm going to do is a quick one stroke floral on this. Um, so I'm going to get my paints ready. When I come back, we'll get uh, get it started. All right. Let me wrap them back. back. Um, I have a varied mix of colors. I'm using craft paints for this project. Okay. Um, dark blue, pink, yellow, metallic silver, black, and I'm obviously will sneak in some white in there. Here. I'll okay. grab a nice flat brush. It's a half inch flat here. Okay, and I'm a um, do a different mix of colors um, just to get it kind of uh, started. All right, um, I'm gonna go into my. I think I'll do dark blue and, and um, half dark blue 
I'm gonna do half pink and get that mix going. And what I'll do is I'll just go rub back and forth. You need kind of um, plenty of paint for this. A little bit of medium thin thin the paint, but this, the paint's already thin, but just to get it flowing a little bit. And it aids in a nice mix of the colors. Okay, you'll see in a second here. And you can't really be too shy with the paint um, using this method. It kind of takes a nice roll of paint to get this stuff going. And I'll start here from the top. And I'll just trill, trill a nice line here. Almost like an S shape. Just about down there. Okay, and then I'll keep the pink in the inside and I'll just roll a nice little petal. I'll come down to a point like that, go on the other side and I'll do the same thing. It does take a little practice to achieve the, the look of these um, petals. Okay, but as you practice with them, okay, the better you'll get. Now, if I need to brighten up some of this, all I do is add a little white to it. Or a little light green, I can mix them. Okay, and basically that's all I'm doing, just doing a little back and forth. Now, obviously my blue is a little dark. I'm going back over it again, just to strengthen up that pink a little bit. And you can repeat it as often as you feel you need to. Get that nice smooth transition between the two colors. All right, now I'll probably add green and all that other stuff to it a little bit later. But right now, I'll just get the, uh, the petals going here for right now. One stroke method originated with uh, Donna Dewberry in this type of floral. And um, you can come up with some very creative ways of doing things um, with this type of uh, floral pattern. Let's go on the other side here. I'll do the same thing. I'll get a nice little flow of color going. I'll curve this one in a little bit more. And having the pink on the inside, I'll tap it a little bit. Turn it around and thin it right out. Turn the brush over, press, and you do the same thing. Like, like a series of the letter M, that's basically what you're doing. Like I say, if you don't have, um, if, or what you don't feel is a dark enough mix, you just add more paint. If you feel that you didn't, you didn't do it, the strokes um, right, add more paint and you can go right back over it again all right just to brighten it up and I'm gonna do it again now usually you would um, you would do this on a flat surface because you would turn the paper around obviously just like so okay so I got one curved in a little more, got the other one in that other direction. And we're going to do a couple more. Okay. Also, depending on the, what kind of brush you've got, and because the paint is so thin, it tends to kind of slide around on the outside edge on your, on your little palette. And you can just gather it up again. Okay. So we're going to do another one. We're going to do one on this side here. You just take it, get a little, little vein going there. I'm going to start from here. Nice little touch. Just like the series of the letter M. Alright. And you can do it on the other side. Make sure they meet. I have to do my little hand switch here. Just like that. And put the little vein in the middle. Just like that. Very attractive. Um, colors, very nice little floral, and just keep at it. Okay, the blue is uh, like I say, it's quite dark. If you want to lighten it up, you know, you can choose to lighten it up or whatever. Um, it's really up to you. I'll put I'll put one more here. 
give it a couple of touches just like that go over the vein if you want to now as I'm looking at it I see that my pink is bright but not quite bright enough so I'm gonna go over it with a little more intense pink I'm not gonna add any white to it or anything I just want to have your pink remember you can dip into a little bit of medium smooth the paint around all you need is a little touch you don't need too much all right I just want to intensify the pink a little bit more there we go and you can see the difference here also there's a difference if you lay the brush flat or straight horizontal they're all you know it makes a difference believe it or not okay just like so <clears throat> I'll put another one probably up in this area here so we'll do one more of this color this particular color the pink and the dark blue and I'm just stroking back and forth it gets a little um I don't want to uh, uh, it gets repetitive but it's okay I'm just intensifying the pink a little bit we'll put one uh, I'm gonna use the blue here I'll put one curving that way and so we just do it pink and inside sometimes even I forget and you just do the strokes now all depending on what direction your hand is going some of these will appear now I'm gonna go backwards just like that and just meet it just like that you put the vein right up in there like like so okay so we got them floating around in all different directions flat okay so it's a long bristled half inch or uh, yeah three quarter inch other uh, rather so let's get a, I'm gonna get a shorter one if I could find one here actually I mean I can find one this is a half inch a little easier to handle um, on a page um, a sheet this small this is 11 by um, 11 by um, 15 inch uh, paper okay so let's get something a little different let's put some yellow and uh, yeah we make a nice bright one some yellow and pink why not I'm gonna go on my paper here stroke back and forth all these are gonna be um, really 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 bright with that um, background like that I'm just thinning up the paint getting a good blend I'm going back into my yellow and pink they're right beside each other so I can actually get both on, on both sides so the convenience thing actually helps too okay and we'll get some smaller ones here we'll have the um we have the yellow on the outside let it really pop here and I'm gonna just take my brush just like that and I'm gonna and I just narrow it out like that so that's one going down that way I have another one going in another direction like this and thin it out like that this turn one around on the other side here just like that okay I'm gonna go back into my pink and yellow mix again easy nice little coat of both sides I want to get that one a little stronger a little more intense just like that there we go so we got a couple over there we're gonna do a, a few more once you get accustomed to doing this okay I mean you can really really enjoy yourself and have some fun with it so pink on the inside yellow on the outside we're gonna have one come this way just like that one down there let's put one here right around in here this area right here just like so okay I'm going to um, bring the camera in a little bit too so you guys can actually see this I'll put stuff one right about here I'm gonna use the pink remember the pink is on the inside yellow on the outside and we're gonna go down see you just you press and like you're making the letter M now as you do it you bring the, the brush up give a little little trail there like that all right I'm gonna so intensify not, not the yellow pink. not the pink so I'm just getting a bunch of yellow we're going to intensify the yellow on that we're going to do it again just like that as you can 
can see you can just go over it again until you get the look that you want with that okay now that is pretty satisfactory that's that's fine now as I'm looking at it as some of the paint starting to dry that leaf up there can be intensified a little bit more too now what do you do with something like that well I'm going to take the same half inch brush I'm just getting pink by itself just pink left and right and all I'm going to do is just intensify the pink itself so I'm going to come up here just like that and bring it on in see how you intensify that pink okay I guess I can do a little bit, just a little bit on the other side here. Just like that. And bring it right out. I'm going to take some of this here. And bring it right up. Just like that. And continue to vein just like so. Alright. It will dry it and it settles into that black or that dark blue you see up there. Okay. Alright, so let's pull back out a little bit. Let's bring it back up. Bring it over here to this side. Okay, we're gonna put some stuff right in here. All right, we're gonna get a um, some kind of flower type pattern happening with that. And I believe I'm going to use maybe I'm a, I'm a just gonna um, create a nice dark cast, um, nice base, a dark base for. What I'm going to do here. Okay, so maybe right up in here, um, I'll do it like this. Something like that. I'm going to cover it, block it right in. That's like that. Just solid black. You'll see in a second what, um, what I'm doing. You can go over your plant, okay, because it just will give the impression of this guy being right in the front of everything. Just like this. Block it right in. There's a method to my madness. You'll see in a second. Just like that. Okay. Now, I'm going to take my brush. Still the same uh, half inch brush. I'm going to rinse it off pretty good here. I'm going to go and I'm going to mix me a nice green. I'm going to get some of this dark blue. I'm going to just pour it right here. Get some yellow. Put it right up in there. Give me a nice green going here. All right, so I got a nice little mix of green. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some, uh, I'm going to give a nice half coat of white. I didn't, I did not wipe off the brush. Okay, there. Get some of that green and black going here. Or green and, and white. Getting plenty of paint. I want a nice transition of the green and the white actually okay plenty of paint that I have on the brush and we're gonna get some quote-unquote normal colored leaves going the white will be in the inside and so we'll start it right here just like that and we'll bring it out like that go right on the outside you can do the same thing just like so like that and we're gonna get a nice little vein going just like that for that guy okay and we're gonna do the same exact thing all over again I'm getting some white I, I can actually get away with more white this time a little bit of green on the on the outside edge here so I'm just wiping in some green on one half of the brush okay we're gonna do another one we're gonna have it come around this way it might overlap the other one don't know yet just like that and we'll narrow it right out I'm gonna flip the brush over and we're gonna do the same thing again oh uh, we'll have it come this way just like that turn the brush around thin it out get the vein in the middle all it takes is practice and you can do the same exact thing what I'm doing here okay just like that we're gonna put another one 
out there okay remember this stuff sets and it gets darker so um it'll still maintain a certain uh look when you're finished so let me clean off my brush i'm gonna go in reverse i'm gonna get more white this time white goes on first i'm gonna wipe it back and forth okay and get a nice coating of white go back into my manufactured greenish tint here get a nice color of the green okay and we'll put him uh coming in another direction like this just like that and have him come right to a point like that up there okay i'm gonna get some more of the same color more white wiping in my green i don't have too much green but i'm gonna try to get as much as i can of it i'm going on one side of the brush a little stronger white and we're gonna just do it again on the other side now this time i'm just going to continue it right from up here just like that i'm gonna bring it right to the side just like so and i'm gonna turn the brush around and get a nice dark vein going up here just like that now you have you know three leaves here all right and we're gonna mess okay. with the flower next now the way i'm gonna do this the black has to be obviously on the inside okay and i'm gonna lightly make a nice little pattern i'm gonna start off right here in the corner and i'm gonna just end it just like that and i'm gonna keep going the, the silver will go on the inside okay just like just like that all right i'm gonna get more silver than black I'm, I'm wiping back and forth because I really don't um, need necessarily a lot of the, the black. As long as the silver is in the inside, we're good. Or, yeah, in the inside petal. And that's basically all I'm doing, really. Okay. So I'm covering, um, or I'm, I'm bringing, it looks like the petals are going, actually they're reaching inside. All right, getting a little more of the silver. Going back and forth, I don't need the black. I got plenty of black on my brush. And just the black helps it blend easier on the uh, on the inside. I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna have it come out peak and thin it right out, have it twirl around like that. So now it's all cupped in there, all right. Now I'm gonna now I'm gonna take the smaller half inch and we're gonna do the same color pattern but with a smaller brush. So let's put that brush back. We're going back into my half inch. I'm gonna get more silver. Alright, I'm gonna pick another spot, a little smaller spot here. And I can actually use the black I've already poured on my canvas and nice equal distribution of the silver and the black because I don't need too much black I just need more silver and we're going to accent some of these guys and remember I'm still going to go with the silver on the inside and right around the edge here right around the edge just like that bring it around so I'm actually going to accentuate and we'll turn it around like just like that all right I'm going to wipe off the excess paint I'm going to Get some more silver get a touch of black all i need is a touch of black i'm more I, i'm more interested in having the silver stick out a little bit better that's all okay as i'm doing this i'll get a little peek here i'll come here come around just like that and narrow it out like that you can keep repeating this and repeating this and repeating this okay very interesting patterns you can get with this just your imagination actually okay we're going to start cupping uh some of these guys here we'll go out like that and we'll come on in come on the other side we can cup them out like that and trail it just like that getting some more silver don't need much black just the silver it helps you fade a lot of these guys in. 
just like that. Okay, getting some more silver. Don't need the black, really. Nice transition of the colors. Oh, I guess I can have one kind of sneak around like this, just like that, and come on. Oh, look at, nah, I like that. I like that, I'll keep it like that. I'll put one peek in right here. And he'll come in like that. So it's actually cupping its way around, okay. Getting a touch of black. I'm running out of black, but that's all right. Got plenty of the silver. Touching up with a little more, a little more silver. Back and forth, and we'll make it smaller and smaller. Remember, the silver must go on the inside. They don't have to be very big now. Just corner them in, just like that. Oh, maybe a little little dot of something there. We'll have this one peek around, just like that. Just like that, and have it corner itself right up in there. Okay, let's go on the outside rim. We can get a little bit of that action going over there too. More silver and black, stroking back and forth. No medium either. I don't have much medium on this. And remember, silver still on the inside. You can kind of come on out and really frame some of this in. Now I'm gonna get a stronger. Um, that just over here and we can get now you have some strong silver come on around peek it and see that a nice double layer in there really enjoy yourself doing this experiment be curious you know ask yourself well gee what would happen if I go here what would happen if I do this okay if worse comes to worse, you feel you messed up, you can always go back over it again. Very simple. I'm going to come here, get a nice little edge, and circle it right around like that. Okay. I don't think I really need to do much else um, with this guy. Really. I think I pretty much um, did everything. Put a little peak right here. Just like that and have it stop. Just like that. I said, I think I kind of cornered everything in with this fella. Nice silver-ish mix going we'll on. Go right here, silver. To the side, and we'll we'll have a um, we'll have a, a good time with this. We'll just come out, and we'll just get some cutesy little things going on right here with a smaller brush, and we're just kind of playing around with these here. We'll kind of. Bring that out like that. All right. Wipe a little bit of that. And we're going to keep going with that pink and white. And what I'm doing really is framing the flower itself. Okay. Oh. We'll have it overlap. Why not? Right up in here. Overlap that guy. Come on up like this. And we're going to do it again on the other side. Just overlap them. See? Overlap it. And narrow that brush. Bring it right on in there. Okay. And basically, I'm just framing this guy because of all that dark. So you're cleverly framing it in. Back and forth. No medium. This paint is pretty, uh, pretty soft, you know. So you really don't need to, um, you know, do all of that. We're going to go here to... Just like this and they don't have to be as big I'm just turning the brush around and I'll we'll bring it right here bring the vein out there like that okay more pink more white Plenty of paint. Can't be shy with the paint when you do uh, this style of flower, or this method of, of um, yeah, of doing the uh, flowers. Um, let's put let's put one more up here. We're gonna go right past um, 
that guy just like this bring it right on in now I went in the reverse I put the white on the inside okay my bad but we're gonna just stay with that well yeah we'll stay with that white on the inside for this one it was my bad I gotta use my right hand here it's just easier for me to do so okay we're gonna put the vein right up in there like so just like that kind of centers this guy in a little bit we're gonna take some more white get a little more pink simple back and forth and we're gonna have one jut out right from this right by this plant here we'll keep the white on the outside this time just like this look at that just like that all right I can bring it in there just like that so he's poking around out there okay I can take some of that uh what color that I have pink and yellow and I can actually go back over that if I want to bring that plant out a little more if I desire to do so but I kind of like what's happening here uh, I like what's going on so I'm gonna add a few more I, I, just, I really like the color mix okay you guys can do the same exact thing I'm doing it's just practicing the strokes in itself okay it's not it's not the hardest thing in the world it just takes a little practice okay I'll put one more out here because I want to like I say frame this guy frame him out there like that and I'm gonna come back I'll do it the other way because I got paint on the other side of the brush you also realize how much paint you would have on the flip side if you can't do it with the other hand that's okay this is why you would really when you do this style of flower you would actually have it um, on a flat surface so you can give equal coverage around and all of that all right but as you see there's a little little circle of, of pink and white going around this guy except down here on the bottom bottom edge okay all right I think we got enough pink and white what do you think let's go a little bit of um I did pink and blue I did um, pink and yellow I did pink and white okay oh I guess I can go yellow and um, yellow and black would stand out pretty pretty neat I would have the black in the in the center so it would give a really interesting graphic but now here's the thing about yellow and black it's going to turn green on you because yellow and black mix is green okay just for you to know okay we're gonna come up here and we're gonna give a nice little well I'll do the, the vein yellow we have a nice one right up here like that keep the yellow on the outside but anyway it's right up there we're gonna do the same thing again my my mistake what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe the paint off on my brush a little half inch all right half inch brush get some more yellow now remember black is very dominant with just any color actually okay so just keep that in mind get a nice even separation between these two fellas too that would be wise remember black on the inside all right and we'll have one right around here we'll press it real good just like that boom put them out there I'm gonna twist the brush around keep the black on the inside just like this okay and get that little thing going just like that with this fellow so I'm putting a little little something on the outer outer fringes there okay more yellow and if you notice this is craft paint I'm not adding white in the yellow it's really not necessarily needed per se okay not 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 too much it doesn't really need it got some more black keep that nice separation of the black and the yellow okay that would be wise I'm gonna get the vein going right here black on the inside and we're gonna mm, we'll do it this way just like that and we'll come on out like that and I'll just uh, circle it around same direction 
just like this, just like that. Get that there, just like that for this fellow. Put them right up in there, just like that. Okay, we're probably gonna do a couple more coming downward. So let's go down here. We'll put a few of them down that way. But this time, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clean off my brush. I'm gonna add still the black and yellow, but I'm gonna add white with the yellow. Don't necessarily need it, okay, to be honest with you, but I'm gonna put it in anyway. So I'm gonna mix that white and yellow mix right in there. And all of this is gonna give you a more intense yellow. Give me a little bit of black, back and forth. And you gotta remember, black and white obviously makes gray. All right, so I'm mixing in the white and the yellow, get a nice even distribution of that color. All right, and we'll have it come, I'll use the yellow this time, I'll have it come this way, just like that. All right, and here we go. Black on the inside, yellow on the outside. Here we go, boom. Put it right in there. Just like that, and we'll scoop it on out like that. On the other side, really give it a nice outward push. And we'll bring it right on in, like, like so. Get the vein going right in there, like, like that. So we just got one there. <coughs> we'll pop one more in there. A little white, a little bit of yellow, back and forth. Back and forth. Get a touch of black on there. All right. We'll do one more right, right about in. Let's get some, let's get that yellow vein going right about there. Okay. And we're gonna press. Don't let your brush leave the canvas. The letter M. That's where your ridges and angles come from. I'm gonna turn my brush around. Do the same thing on the other side. The letter M, letter M, turn the brush around. It's okay. Then the brush, have it upright, and there you go. It's um, just like that. If I can get it to zoom in a little bit. Okay, just like that. We're gonna go here. You press, give it a little, and then go away. Just like that, a nice little orb of color right there. Just put some right in front of that leaf too, just like that. Okay, we'll put one down here. Okay, just little cutesy things. Let's put one right about here. Just like that. Okay. So we got some, some cutie little things happening there. Get a little bit, a little touch of white, a little touch of yellow. Okay, we're going to twirl it a little bit. Okay. Oh, I'll have one maybe right here on this. On the, we're on the outside here. Put it right on this leaf right here. Boom, like that. Okay, let's go downward. Let's go right around in there. We'll put one, put one right up in there like that. And maybe another one right around in here. Okay, oh, one right here by this leaf. Now when I add these orbs like this, all right, it sets these guys back. It sets the whole, whole thing back like that and I'll I, I'll do one more right here on the lower side because we got, we got a bigger one we're gonna put some bigger ones in there so we've got a lot of stuff popping happening around it on this now take it I'm rinsing off the um, now you don't well they're, they're not they're inexpensive and you can just keep getting them you know but as long as you don't really totally destroy the thing or you don't forget that you have paint in them, you just wash them off and they're good as new again. Quite frankly, all right, not, not, too, not too hard to, um, to, uh, to do with these, these things here. Let's, get, let's go into a little bit of blue. Blue is a very nice color to do these with. All right, and I'm gonna obviously get me a little corner of white just on the corner. I'm gonna take it off, spin it and it gives us a nice blend of the blue and white, okay? Let's continue right from here. We're gonna, we're gonna go a little bit over that one orb. Give it a little twist like that, okay? I'll intensify the white though. I mean, I like, the, like a little stronger white rim on this guy. So we'll do that again. Put it right in the same spot. 
Timothy intensify the white a little bit more all right I'll put I'll put um, put them not really too far from the smaller orbs like one there bigger guys we'll put one right here on the edge of this flower just like this BAM right up in there like that boom okay put one right here where, where this pink is nice little twist there intensify the white a little bit more I need I need a stronger white there like that all right the, we have no problem with the blue the blue is, is a-okay it's just gonna strengthen up the white a tad we'll put another close one right here like like um we have it downward like this boom you know you can go you can cover half the the whoops sorry cover half of the uh the bubbles on, on some of these put one right here up here okay we got all sorts of craziness going on with this let's go up a little higher intensify the white don't necessarily have to do anything with the blue the blue is pretty strong all by itself okay I'm overpowering the the, uh, the blue this time but we'll put one like right there boom almost off the page there we'll put one right here boom okay like I say it brings all of that back right I really don't think I need too much more of those guys let's pull back a little bit and you guys will see everything and then we'll, we'll deal with the center of the plant here or yeah of the flower this center right in here we're gonna do something pretty cute with that let me rinse off this brush I don't think I need any more with that we're gonna do the last thing we'll put little stamen like thing now I even have a bigger one it's not needed though see the size difference let me show you real quick they come in these sizes right I'll put it in the black area right there there you go and they all come in the same package you get a whole bunch of them like 20 of them whatever for a few bucks but they're extremely useful okay you can even get replacements for these guys okay just to spool itself but they're very inexpensive all right he's also good for covering large areas if you want to do grass or a hill or whatnot very very handy all right what I'm saying is that to do whatever type of painting that you're interested in you don't always have to stick to traditional methods if that's not what you're feeling that's kind of what I'm talking about let's take a round brush utilizing the colors that I do have okay I am going to cover um, the brush I'm gonna cover it with um, black all black at first just like that oh, hold on I'm gonna cover the brush mostly black here the tip I'm gonna cover with a nice bright yellow just a tip like that we're gonna go inside let's see if I can do this without killing myself here all right that was harmless we're gonna go on the inside here and all I'm gonna do is make a one touch just like that and we're gonna go in different directions with it just a little, little touch like that some come in a little more some come out get a little more yellow just a dot of yellow that's all I need put some right there turn my brush I think I can put a dot right in there like that get some more yellow definitely don't need more black but the yellow's fine put some in there like that Just like that turn them in different directions all right get some more yellow do that again okay and I'll pop in some in there actually I'll use the tip of the brush put some up in there like that and I'll put one in there like this I'll have one trying to escape on the other side right out here just like that okay I think we're good here with all of that okay just cleaning off the brush real quick I'll put the brush back I'm gonna get a script lighter 
and then I'm going to say thank you for watching this. I hope this uh, provided some help and some insights. I'm getting, dipping a little water in my paint here. And right here on this lower corner, I'll sign my name. Let me go back here and, and you guys can see the whole thing there. Uh, but anyway, that's what she's looking like. I know that is kind of crazy looking. Okay. It's definitely different. Sometimes you have to go a little different. This might appeal to some people. This might not. Okay. Um, wow. I'm going to have to use white for the uh, rest of the date right in here there okay that's really that's really that all right I uh, hope you enjoyed this little session here um, hope it helps you out like I say it's quite unusual okay it's different uh, showed you how to use the roller um, did it's kind of a funky looking, um, almost hibiscus like um, plant um, with the metallic silver and black. Okay, even though I got a black and white background, but I got it surrounded by the pink and all the other colors and such. Um, so it, it is a, a very unusual um, guy. Okay. No doubt. I'm just getting some yellow and some blue because I'm going to make a quick green so I can put some nice uh, veins on this plant here on the, on the on the leaves here. So I'm mixing in some light green so I can really give it a little something over there. Okay. You either use dark green or light green or whatnot for the center of these guys here. It'll set back and it'll be darker than what it's looking like. Alright. I'm getting a little bit of a uh, blue. And I'm going to continue some of those veins right down here on this guy too. Just like that. Just using a script liner. Just going to accentuate a few of the center lines there. That's all. And I'm cleaning off the brush. Get some. This is craft paint. Um, And we're going to really get some center veins going on some of these other fellows here just like that okay and using the side of the brush trying to get it too thick wipe some of that away I can repeat that just like that okay I'll leave it alone no more piddling no more puttering no more playing around I lied gotta get the yellow get some strong yellow here for this guy there we go hello okay now I think I can almost leave it alone I gotta go top here add a little bit of something something up here just like that and we'll go right up from the top here and we're gonna continue that on down there like that remember if it looks like uh, too garish remember the paint um, flattens as it dries so it'll uh, all match a little different a little crazy okay but it's um you know this is a little something i wanted to show you what you can do with a roller and some craft paint okay yeah it's, it's it's different um yeah very different of course as i'm looking at it i can take some white and on these little circles up here well, a nice little reflection you can put some nice orb or reflect reflections on there just a bunch of bright white right up in there on some of these fellas just like that a little touch of a super bright white we'll set these off as little bubbles or whatnot just like that just a little, little dot of a uh, color okay just like that you can put some on these little guys too if you want it's all up to you they all don't have to have it they all don't need it 
Right. There's just a, a few on, a, on, on them. Kind of wakes them up there. All right. I will leave it all alone. I promise. I promise. This should have been done like four minutes ago. If you like what you see, put your name. Uh, so give me your comments on the bottom. Uh, my my uh, Facebook uh, site is probably on the bottom already. So, um, once again, my name is uh, Anthony Gray, and uh, this is Grayscale. Um, sometimes I'll bring you some off the cuff, uh, <laughs> abstracty, ab abstracty, vagrant looking stuff, but I, um, well, you can definitely say it's different for sure, right? Okay, guys. Thank you once again. Can't wait to see the comments on this one. Take care of yourself. Enjoy you. See you when I see you.